Hello, I'm Prashant Randa and I'm in Bangalore in the south of India right now. I'm here to give you a few tips before uh, you enroll into the beginnings course once again, which uh, is a fantastic, lovely course with fabulous faculty. And I've had a blast being on it and connecting with a whole bunch of sketchbook keepers and artists around the world. And I'm shooting a little video on my phone while on the rooftop here. So it may not be in best quality. Uh, I'm going to give you a little tip. Uh, those of you who haven't started uh, doing watercolors, I suggest you run out and get a little box of uh, uh, watercolor paints. It needn't be expensive at all. What I have here, let me try and show you. I have my little bag which keeps my watercolors and it's a simple little uh, box I have. The one I'm using is Finitec. It's a German brand which has a bunch of uh, different colors, 24. Uh, I do a little exercise called getting to know your paint box. And uh, it's very important, I feel, to get to know the colors in your palette. Because for one, uh, sometimes, even if you have just six colors or 12 colors or 24, uh, Sometimes the pigments are so strong that um, the black may look like a dark blue or a dark green or a brown. And I realize when I'm painting at night or in lower light conditions, it's easy for you to dip your brush into a brown thinking it's a blue, you know, or something like that. So this is a very simple tip that I would suggest all of you do as soon as you get your paint box. Uh, to start off uh, as an introduction to this class. This is my cotton sketchbook. It has various goings on in Bangalore right now of old buildings and things. Um, this is Bangalore Club. And so what I'm going to do as part of our Tips of Sketchbook School is start off with, uh, let me see, blue here. I'm dipping my brush in water um, and taking a little swatch onto my paper. Cleaning my brush, going on to the next color, I'm starting with the blues. You know, and this really helps um, having a little swatch of colors like this in your sketchbook is of a great help because um, I feel that, you know, you can even use it as a reference, as a record of the kinds of shades and uh, the color palette that you have. So I just suggest that you do a little swatch of each color in your paint box, which um, really helps you to understand the various colors in your um, palette. So I find it's really important to just do the simple exercise because it helps you understand, first of all, the, the pigments in your box. Um, because sometimes, you know, they may be very concentrated in your box. And just knowing that a little bit of water with, uh, with your brush on your brush dipped into a wee bit of paint can give a vibrancy. You know, some pigments are brighter than others. And it's good for you to just lay this out in your, in your sketchbook. And eventually, when we do our washes as part of the course, you'll get to know how to gradually blend these watercolors or take one one color and show a gradation from its uh, strong, vibrant pigment to the most subtle uh, shades of it. But um, I'm really looking forward to seeing all of you in the course. It's always a pleasure seeing, you know, the interaction between the students and the wonderful work that comes out of this course. So. Yeah, sketchbook school is fun. Keep sketching. Beginning is starting soon, and I hope to see you there.